two, four, three. Hashtag A Shore TV two four three at Pastor YPJ Hashtag First TV two four three B. There is no amount of gifts, affirmation, courtesy, or kindness you can offer toward a person that is already determined not to like you that will change their behavior towards you. You would be surprised how many people are dealing with some kind of self-condemnatory internal complex that they have masterfully figured out a way to turn around on other people. They project their own ill feelings about themselves on others. If you're a decent person, a kind person, it is not an unnatural thing to wonder, why don't you like me? What have I done to you? The truth is, sometimes when you personally demonstrate too much joy, it can irritate those who hold hostility in their hearts. You're a happy person. You're always happy. So what happens is those who intentionally harbor hatred within themselves, they don't like that. You annoy them. And when a person is unhealed, it's unfortunate and it's sad, but they usually don't know how to ask for assistance to help improve their own lives. So instead of looking at you saying, man, you're where I want to be, they just decide not to like you. They don't want to do the work, so they've decided I'm going to be mad at everybody and you just happen to be in their way today. Do not take ownership of another person's toxic feelings that they are trying to project on you, especially when you know you haven't done anything to merit that measure of behavior. If they're determined not to like you, you be determined not to care. Shows and food. Facts. Yes, okay. Facts and yes. I mostly completely agree, mostly. And I I've had this, I've dealt with this in my life, which is another oh, I have so many sons. But I, I've dealt with this in my life as well. But I do say be careful to the extent that it matters to you. Because sometimes you may misinterpret that what what they're doing is like hostility because they're hating on you. You didn't say it, but it misinterpret their actions as hostility towards you because they hate you. But I give the example of think about it like an elementary school little girl who like hits the little boy that she likes you know sometimes there's that but that's why i say as much as you care because if it's somebody who's acting that way and you're not even interested in them anyway then yeah that that's not something of concern for you you know like the little girl hitting a, the gay boy you know no, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding because, uh, oh my gosh, I open up such a can of worms with that. But if it's somebody who you're not interested in like that at all, then just be like, I'm not, I'm not feeling you. Oh my gosh, remember that song? No matter what you say, do no matter what you say, I'm leaving anyway. I'm not feeling you. I did not like that song that was new. That song was new around the time that we first moved to New Orleans. And I am so gay. I'm sorry. I was. Because some, what I, and I don't even really remember what it looked like. I just remember she had some interesting and i guess nice <laughs> i healed shoes that was erica yancey i do remember her name i did not love the song but i remember that song and it got a lot of play down in new orleans at least erica yancey and yeah sometimes it's because they're holding hostility towards you but also Sometimes it's just because they like you, or sometimes it's both. It's both. You gotta, you gotta love that duality. Sometimes it's both. All right. And the comment coming from, I am DJ Wadea. And it says, do not take ownership of another person's toxic feelings 
that they are trying to pro project on you. Yes. So, yeah, don't take ownership of another person's toxic feeling. No matter.